Have you heard of a street legal production motorcycle that does a 0 to 101.5 seconds? It's right here. I have been riding zero motorcycles for the past three years now. Electric motorcycles, like anything electric, they are amazing. They are a lot of fun. And zero motorcycles are the Tesla of motorcycles. The SRS that we're going to talk about here is the top of the line flagship from Zero. This is the 2022 version with a Cypher 3 Plus upgrade. And this bike gives the fastest gas bikes out there a run for their money in a 0 to 100. But first, let's do the numbers. The SRS comes with a Zero proprietary Z47510 air-cooled motor. That is the most powerful motor that Zero has developed delivering 110 bhp. Now you must be wondering how can a 110 bhp beat the baddest of the gas bikes in a short sprint? The answer is an electric torque. It delivers 190 newton meters of torque that is available to you while the bike is standing still. All you have to do is flip the kill switch and free flowing torque is available on tap like you have never experienced before. Never. It does a 0 to 100 in 1.5 seconds. That is quicker than any motorcycle that I have ever ridden. And I have ridden mostly everything other than the H2R. Top speed is restricted to a 200 km an hour or 125 miles an hour. This restriction is done to prevent overheating and to conserve range. So yes, arguably this is the quickest production motorcycle on the planet. But not the fastest. Although if we were to remove the restrictions, we don't know how fast it would go. Talking of range, the Zero SRS comes with a 15.6 kW battery that gives you a city range of 250 plus kilometers or 156 miles on the standard model and with a Cypher 3 Plus in in-app purchase, you will unleash a full potential of 300 kilometers in the city or 187 miles as claimed by Zero. If you're doing just the highway, your range drops to 150 kilometers or 90 miles. If you ride at 90 kilometers an hour or 55 miles an hour. Your mileage on the highway drops because of lack of region. And if you compare with the gas equivalent, it is like 120 kilometers to a liter. And you get performance better than an hour one. That is mind blowing. Standard recharge time to 95% is 4 hours and optimal recharge time to 95% with all accessories is 54 minutes. The final drivetrain is a belt that requires zero maintenance and recommended for replacement after 25,000 kilometers or 16,000 miles. Now about the build quality and finish. The SRS is actually based on the SRF platform with full fairing. The quality of the build is outstanding. It is robust and solid that inspires confidence. The paint job is slick. The finishing is flush. Anybody who says that a zero motorcycle finish is not great is either jealous or lying. The full color TFT screen is a delight to use. Now let me show you how I sit on the motorcycle. I'm 165 centimeters or 5 feet 6 inches tall. Seat height is at 787 millimeters or 31 inches. You can see me sitting rather comfortably on the SRS with both my feet flat on the ground. It is a split seat and you do get an accessory from zero to have a lower seat height. Surprisingly, the SRS sits more upright than the SRF, which is the naked version. The rear set foot pegs are sporty and is designed to lean your bike on corners to a fair angle. And if you want to take this big boy out on track, you'll give most super sports a run for their money, especially around corners. Talking about corners, let's talk a little about the suspension. The front suspension consists of a Showa 43mm big piston independent function forks that are fully adjustable, preload, compression and damping. Front suspension travel is 120mm or 4.7 inches. Off the factory it is set at pretty stiff but you can fully adjust that. You can make it stiffer, softer and of course compression and damping the way you want it. The rear suspension is a Showa 40mm piston with piggyback reservoir shock, also fully adjustable, spring preload, rebound and compression. You can dial each element individually to suit your riding style, your body weight and the kind of roads you'll be on. Handling is sweet around the corners thanks to the suspension and the trellis frame wherein the battery is bolted as a stressed member giving flex rigidity and wonderful handling capabilities. The brake is sharp as one would expect from a sports bike and the feedback is actually pretty refined. You can do single finger stopping. Braking hardware is provided by J. Juan, a company owned by Brembo. It's a Spanish company based in Barcelona and it has been the world leader in the manufacture of enmeshed hydraulic tubes for braking systems to provide the feedback that we are talking about. The front is a 320mm dual disc and it is a Bosch developed ABS. The rear is a 240mm disc with a single piston floating caliper also with advanced ABS from Bosch. Overall feel and concluding thoughts? There are too many things to talk about, but I'll try to be as brief as possible. This bike can be ridden like a full-blown super sports motorcycle or a 50cc scooter. You can dial in every aspect of the performance, power, torque and region through the Zero app on your phone. 
and if you're a rank beginner, you can dial down the torque to minimum on your phone and make it perform like a scooter if you want it. That said, the motorcycle is a tad too heavy for a rank beginner. At 235 kilos or 517 pounds, it is not the lightest super sports motorcycle out there to maneuver around. As for the bells and whistles, you get traction control, lean angle sensitive traction control, lean angle sensitive ABS, wheelie control. Most of the features are controlled through your Zero Phone app. There are a bunch of Cypher 3 Plus upgrades available through in-app purchases that unleash a host of features on the bike over time. I may make a video on that later. This can be an outstanding motorcycle to commute on and also to go and do track days. However, because of recharge times, I would not want to do long distance riding on this guy. Pricing is at 22,695 US dollars plus tax and fees. That by no means is a cheap sticker price. In some states, you do get an electric tax rebate or a tax credit. The Zero motorcycles are so much fun, it's difficult to explain that over a video. If you're a biker, I know there is an affinity for internal combustion engines. But do try an electric sometime. If you prefer sports motorcycles, do try the Zero motorcycle, especially the SRF or the SRS. If you have never ridden a Zero before, it is time. And when you ride the Zero SRF or the SRS, you will really understand what torque is all about. Let me know if you have had an experience with Zero bikes or electric motorcycles in general. Let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be replying to your comments. Until then, ride safe.